Hello everyone. In this video, we learn how to fabricate a Z spring. It is also called as double cantilever spring. It is used for correction of anterior cross bite, which can be a single tooth or a two tooth. For this, the armamentarium that we need is 0.5 mm stainless steel wire. Universal plier, wire cutter, marker, yes, and for uh, Z spring we need a wire which is 0.5 mm stainless steel. We are cutting a small segment of uh, 0.5 mm stainless steel wire. We'll slightly straighten it up. We'll be straightening the wire. Marking the mesiodistal width of the tooth. Fabricating, giving first helix. First helical loop. First helix should be distally, second helix should be mesial. Fabricating second helix. Z spring is always 90 degree to the tooth intended for labelization. Now we are giving a bend so that the Z spring is at 90 degree to the axis of tooth intended for tooth movement. This is the retentive arm, cutting the retentive arm. Retentive arm should be approximately 12 mm in length. A Z spring consists of two helices. First helix is distal to the intended tooth movement and second helix is mesial. The Z spring is at 90 degree to the axis of tooth. So we need to give a bend of to the retentive arm and the active spring portion. So this is a completely fabricated Z spring. It is called as double, ca double cantilever because one helix one arm from the helix is one cantilever, other arm from the second helix is second cantilever. For its activation, we open both the helices. So this Z spring is at, you can see it is at 90 degree to the tooth intended for movement. This is the active spring part and this is the retentive arm. The retentive arm is approximately a centimeter long and the spring part is at 90 degree or perpendicular to the retentive tag and also perpendicular to the tooth intended for the tooth movement. The first helix is distal to the intended tooth movement and second is mesial. <laughs> Z spring is used for labelization of the tooth which is in cross bite it is it can also be used for mildly rotated or tilted teeth z spring is a supported spring it needs to be boxed in wax prior to acrylization so z spring is always covered by wax prior to acrylization 
and after acrylization this jet spring is covered by acrylic since it's a supported spring it is completely supported by the acrylic plate thank you